My brothers, I've had the most interesting five weeks of my life. I've buried almost eight brothers in the last five weeks. All of which were under the age of 25. All of which were under the age of 25 years old. And they didn't die because they were sick. They didn't die because, you know what, he had some illness that doctors couldn't work out. No, perfectly fine boys. Wallahi, one of them, one of them, 18 years old, built like a tank. We actually had to bend his legs when we put him into the ground. He was so big, we actually couldn't fit him into the hole. We actually had to bend his legs to get him in there. Eight under the age of 25 and ask me how many of them prayed none of them how many of them were familiar with Quran none of them this this is what the people around them are telling me this is what their friends are telling me My brothers, you sit here hopeful, thinking I have a long life. What gives you this hope, my brother? Go to the cemetery, please. I urge you, go to the cemetery. And look, and read the tombstones. Wallahi, I remember growing up, death belonged to Abu Ali and Abu Ahmed. Who's done Hajj and all of his kids are now married, and you know, he's got grandkids, he's seven years old, he's croaking a white beard. Those days are long gone. You know, I'm 30 now, and for the most part of my life, every funeral I went to was in the old section of Rookwood Cemetery. In the last few years, we filled up that one, plus two new sections that they gave us. And we're already halfway through the new one that they gave us. And 70% of these people that are buried there, 70% are under the age of 35 years old.